I'll quickly show you how the multiband sharpen filter works in Affinity. I would say it performs sympathetic detail enhancement for subjects where a traditional unsharp mask might produce too much contrast or ringing around edge detail. I primarily designed it for astrophotography, including planetary and lunar imaging. But you can also experiment with other genres, such as portrait photography, where it can produce a more flattering sharpening effect. I'll use the live version of the filter by going to Pixel, New Live Filter Layer, Sharpen, Multiband. Then I'll zoom in. Viewing the document at a one-to-one -one or greater reproduction is important for an accurate preview of the sharpening. I'll drag the base radius slider up. And on this image, the detail enhancement is very subtle, but this will change as I modify the other parameters. The number of bands parameter here is the number of sharpening passes, and you can go from 3 to 8. At first glance, a higher number of bands will just seem like it enhances local contrast, so more of a broader detail enhancement. However, I can also alter this behaviour with the band range. Larger values will go even broader, but if I pull it back to 1, I get more fine detail enhancement. I can then fine-tune this with contrast, which controls the overall contrast of each sharpening pass. A smaller value works better for most subjects, but it has quite a wide range to accommodate other types of imagery. Finally, there's Hard Blend, which is a simple one-click solution for more aggressive sharpening. For this moon image, I might actually stack two multiband sharpen filters. The first one will be for broader enhancement. So I'll disable Hard Blend, leave Contrast at 0, then increase Band Range to 5. I'll then duplicate this live filter with Command-J on Mac, Control-J on Windows, and I'll reduce Base Radius to 1 pixel, Band Range to 1, then increase Contrast to 0 0.5. I now have two sharpening passes one for broad detail, one for fine detail. And I can hide, then show them, so you can see the before and the after. Now, granted, you could achieve something similar using Unsharp Mask, but Multiband Sharpen will give you a tonally softer result, with more attenuation of contrast and smoother transitions between areas. Where the filter really shines is with linear compositing, which is typically used with astrophotography and high dynamic range workflows. Let's take a typical shot of Pleiades, which has a lot of high contrast star detail. I'm working in 32 bit per channel precision, which uses linear compositing. This is important to note because various operations will behave differently in linear space versus non linear gamma corrected space. I've reached the end of my editing and I want to apply some sharpening, so I might typically use Unsharp Mask for this. And if I start to go above a small radius value, I get this nasty black halo effect around the edges of the stars. Now, if I hide this filter, then add a live multiband sharpen filter, and set the parameters to try and match the sharpness, of the Unsharp Mask filter. Even with aggressive fine detail enhancement, the effect is much more palatable. Increasing the band range and decreasing the contrast would also give me some broader detail enhancement whilst still remaining complementary to the image. So that's the primary purpose of the multiband sharpen filter. It's for when you want more customizable detail enhancement whilst suppressing typical sharpening artifacts. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.